Right, okay, so uh, a quick review of this uh, Mini F clamp set that was recommended to me by one of our members. I'm sorry, I can't remember it was and I haven't had time to have a look on the thread. Uh, but uh, he said to try these out. Now I got these from a place called Affinity Models, uh, which I'll flash the price up and everything. I think they're only a five or a set, which I thought was excellent um, money for these. I mean, they're worth a lot more, I reckon. Uh, now, um, I, clamping is quite a, one of those issues where um, there's not really good any real good clamps out there. It's quite hard to find something that's going to apply pressure but not too much pressure you know pegs are okay for wings and things like that i use these um uh, you know these plastic tips which you can get from wilkinson's for a pound and these, these rubber they're rubber tipped uh, on here so they're soft on the models they're not hard and they don't slip off as well so they're very very good uh, but you, you can't control the amount of pressure that you put on so you can overdo it and obviously if you're using tamia thin you'll uh, you can squeeze those joints and then you get that that line of um uh, excess or welded plastic on the outside um so it's i mean i've also got you know several sets of these burner clamps um, now these are good but they're very uh, fiddly uh, you can if you squeeze them too tight or anything they twist off like that so you have to get these completely in the right position for them to to work so but they're more they're very handy again they work on a pressure system you push them together and the pressure on this carbon rod is what keeps the the thing together so it's the, it's the actual uh, pressure there like that uh, so they, they work very well again I, I had several sets of these and they come with long ones I've cut some down to small ones just so that it's a lot easier to manage than these long poles that I got on some of them so very handy indeed burner clamps but I wanted something it's hard to find something where you have a static base and you can then clamp it to the base and, and look after it again I've got one of those Tamiya stands that has the clips on but the clips are far too hard uh, so I had a look at these and I thought oh well these, are, these look really good so what I do is um, it comes in a packet uh, with uh, how to use the clamps and everything how to assemble them and on there's some special features which it says like the S clamp set is suitable for mending or assembling blah 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 blah, blah. not suitable for high pressure operation which is exactly what we want uh, fix the stands with screws don't let adhesive touch it keep away from welders and things like that often so let's have a look inside the packet as you can see it's all stapled in so it's quite safe so we'll get everything out now as you can see you get two clamps for a five quid which is which is brilliant in itself uh, you get to, uh, these clamps come on uh, these plastic bases now that one's a little bit off center but no problem just really stick that down uh, now these the really soft foam is the first thing you notice it's very tactile and it's it's um, it's quite hard without being too rigid uh, so it's perfect for what we would need it for you also get a spare set which I think is excellent very good indeed that you get a spare set of those make sure you don't lose those when you put them anywhere <coughs> you then get these two bases now um, this is the the difference between these and the burner clamps because these work the same as burner clamps and the fact that you know you, you have pressure and if you if you apply the pressure it doesn't move on the rod you see but once you unclip that pressure, you can move it up and down. So very good indeed. Uh, now that you can use them as as is, like this, like the burner clamps if you want. They are a bit more stable than the burner clamps, I've got to say. And they give you a much more larger area uh, with to choose your, your pressure points and things like that. So I do like that. Now this, the bases they come with, uh, you get two bases, so you one for each one. Uh, now there's two ways you can attach these to the base. You can take these little uh, rubber stops off quite easily and then you can pop them in like that. Uh, so you've got a vertical um, stand like so. As you can see, very nice indeed. All very good. So, and that stands. Now you can fix these to your, your workbench if you want. You can have these in a certain place, like a, a proper clamp or something like that um, on there. You can put it anywhere you like. Um, and I think, because I've bought two boxes, two sets of these, so I've got four of them. I am actually going to, um, I'm not going to do it until I move abroad, but when I move abroad I'm actually going to get some little screws and I'm going to fix one of these to the bench, so I've got it always there, which is going to be quite handy, I think. Uh, so you've got that, okay, the other way you can do it, on these bases, you pop your pip it off of there, and then you pop your end caps on, this is to stop obviously the clamp sliding off, and then you've got this other little uh, section here, and it slides on like so. So now you have a vertical one. So what you can do with this, you can have two or three of them lined up together. Um, I think it shows it on the packet actually. 
uh, but you can have two or three of them lined up for that. So if you're doing figures or maybe a ship or something like that, you can have that clamped either that way, obviously, and, and the other way as well. Um, so you can have them clamped, both clamped that way. Let me take them up, take your end pieces off. And then you can have them both clamped, obviously, that way. For So whichever way you want to do your holes on your ships and things like that. So very, very versatile. Um, and I think that, that for a fiver, you, you have to get these if you're a modeler and you, you want to keep things together. They're ideal for fuselages, uh, for ship holes especially. Um, at AFV, um, I would imagine putting the upper to the lower hole. I mean, you don't need a lot of pressure on AFVs. I've got to say, they kind of fit together quite easily. But these are definitely, without a doubt, a no-brainer for a fiver, for a set of two, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, so uh, I know it's only a short review, but uh, these things are, uh, without a doubt, a complete necessity. So I would say go out and get them if you can find them. I think they've sold out everywhere at the moment. Um, they've been proved very popular on our site. Uh, so, uh, But I've got them from Infinity Models, and they're absolutely excellent. So uh, there you go, guys. That's the, uh, that is the Mini F-Clamp set. It doesn't have a name or anything like that, uh, but that's a total recommend for me. So uh, take care. Goodbye.